Welcome to the hit new game show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play? Tis the season. Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. All right, and welcome everybody. So let's see our teams today. We have over here... Hi, I'm Miss Fredrickson, and we are the Homie Nomies. And featuring... I'm Ayanna Nisley. I'm B. Vic Patel. I'm Sawyer Jones. And over here we have the... We are the Razzle Dazzlers. And I'm Mrs. Rasmus. I'm Frank Briggs. I'm Jocelyn Ross. I'm Shiloh Keeley. And thank you all for playing. Shall we dive in? Here we go. We're going to start with the first question. Twelve drummers drumming. A picture says a thousand words. This was a saying created by an idiot who doesn't understand the difference between an image and a word. Noting the lunacy of that saying, what did people used to say instead of cheese when having their pictures taken? They say prunes, eggs, bow wow, or chuckaboo. You have ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, yes? Chuckaboo. Chuckaboo is incorrect oh. for minus 300. Oh, the correct answer yeah. is prunes. They used to say prunes. It was in the Victorian era. Good, good job not answering, guys. Yes, here we go. 11 Pipers piping. All right, all we are is dust in the wind or a frisbee lost in a tree. I know that's deep, and you may feel free to quote me on it. Speaking of frisbees, what happened to the remains of the man who invented the frisbee? Ooh. They were made into a firework, they were buried in a Pringles can, they were made into a Frisbee, they were shot into space. Made into a Frisbee. That is correct, they were made into a Frisbee for 300 points. Okay, ten lords are leaping, here we go. Weird rules and laws make up this entire crazy world we live in. Which of the following laws slash rules is illegal in Ohio? Getting a fish drunk, killing a housefly within 160 feet of the church, catching a mouse without a license, or all of the above? All of the above. All of the above is correct for 300 points. That is correct. All right. Nine ladies dancing. When I first met my wife, I told her I was colorblind for six months. She believed me. And to this day, we are still married. Noting color blindness, what color are black boxes on airplanes? Black, orange, gray, or yellow? Heard there first. Orange. Orange is correct. Orange is correct. Right. Finding out there in the water, right? That's good. Eight maids of milking. Here we go. Eight maids of milking. History lesson time. All right, an 1893 constitutional amendment proposed renaming the United States of America to the United States of blank. The United States of Columbia, Fredonia, North America, or Earth? You have 10. Columbia. That is incorrect. Aww. They're going with North America. That is also incorrect. Aww. It was Earth. The correct answer was Earth. United States of Earth. Seven swans are swimming. All right. In this, uh, in his second year at Harvard, Microsoft founder Bill Gates devised an algorithm for creating pickup lines, finding Waldo, pancake sorting, or telling fortunes. Finding yes. Waldo. Finding Waldo is incorrect. Aww. Crazy. 
Pancake Pickup Lines is incorrect. Oh. It was actually Pancake Sorting. Last year under the both team. Exactly. The, the flaw is they're called flapjacks, not pancakes. Six geese to land. Here we go. It's time for everyone's favorite question. Elephant, Mustard, Teddy Roosevelt, or Dracula? One of these is the correct answer. Your question is, was introduced into the world most recently? Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt is incorrect. Oh. Yes, yes. Mustard is also incorrect. The correct answer is Dracula. Dracula was the one most recently introduced. Good try. All right, here's your special question. Five golden rings. Here we go. It is a this or that question. Are we ready? Your categories are, and I will give you that clue so you know what they belong to. This is the question where you are permitted just to scream out the answer for your okay. team, but you either get it or you don't, because it is either this or that. Are we ready? Your choices are pain relief cream or ice cream. Pain relief cream or ice cream. Pain relief cream or ice cream. Ready? Set. Asper cream. Pain relief. I heard over there first for 300. That is correct. The next one. Mississippi Mud. I heard over here first, ice cream is correct. Gold? Pain relief. That is incorrect for minus 300. It is ice cream. All right, next one. Icy Hot. I heard over here first for 300. Pain relief cream is correct. Australian ice cream. cream. What? Ice cream. Ice cream? That is incorrect. What? Pain relief <laughs> cream. <laughs> Mineral ice. ice cream. That is incorrect. <laughs> that is, <laughs> it is pain relief cream. <laughs> Love Potion 31. I heard ice cream over here. That is correct for 300. That is correct for 300. Four calling birds. Here we go. McDonald's are all around the world, which means Ronald McDonald is also all around the world. So what is Ronald McDonald's name in Japan? Ronan McDonald, a rookie McDonald, Donald McDonald, or Old McDonald? Haruki McDonald is incorrect. Oh. Oh. They're going with Ronan McDonald. That is also incorrect. Oh. The correct answer is Donald McDonald because they can't really say ours. <laughs> Donald McDonald is correct. <laughs> Three French hens. Give a girl the right pair of shoes and she can conquer the world. Abraham Lincoln, 2018. <laughs> Noting the completely valid quote, who were high heels originally invented for? Dwarfs, clowns, men, or nurses? Thank you heard there first. Men. Men is correct. They were created for men first. They were less negative now. Yes. <laughs> Two turtle doves. All right. Are you a man or are you a Muppet? Sean Bandy, 2020 in a presidential interview with Mr. Marzak. Speaking of Muppets, Frank Oz voiced all the following characters except Yoda, Miss Piggy, Cookie Monster, or Kermit the Frog. Frank Oz voiced all of those except one. Ten. Yes? Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster is incorrect. Aww. Miss Piggy? Miss Piggy is Incorrect. The correct answer is Kermit the Frog. For minus 300 for both. You also voice Sam Eagle, Animal, and Fozzie Bear. All right, Interesting. Know. Last question to make up some ground. A partridge in a pear tree. For those of you that remember how this works, the board will be covered with answers. Some are right, some are wrong. So keep eye on the board. I will tell you a clue, and you want to see if you can find those answers on there again, like the five golden rings question, just shout them out. Are we ready? Your phrase is, all I want for Christmas is my two buck teeth. All I want for Christmas is my two buck teeth. Are we ready? There are all of your choices. Ready? Yeah. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Goofy. That is correct for 300. Looney Tunes. Oh, I heard over 
Word for both. I'll give you both 300 at the same time. Cars. Mater. That is correct for 300. Rugrats. Chucky. That is correct for 300 points. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Chucky. That is incorrect. You have five. Gopher. That is correct for 300 points. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. That is incorrect. <laughs> what? Sandy. That is correct. Sandy is correct for 300. Veggie Tales. That is correct for 300 points. All right, those are all the answers. Let's tally them up and see who has won. Raz was with 300. They were both with minus 300. Congratulations, Razzle Dazzler, survive the next round. But let's find out how much money did we win because remember, Whoever wins or whoever has the most money wins the donut party. So how much money did we raise over here? $160. $160 to Rasmus's $250. They also walked away from the donut party. Oh my goodness. Thank you all for playing.